What is up fam? It's Bisquick here. So we are going to be going over the new hero. I know everybody's been waiting for it. You know, they thought it was going to be Ankara, Doomfist, that uh, fucking... I don't even know what his name was, that one robot who kind of looked like he could have been a fucking Gundam, who knows, but anyways, we're going over Orisa, she's that OR15 robot, so we're going to be breaking everything down to her abilities, what they do, um, her is an actual hero, like all that new jazz about her origin story, and we're going to actually be playing some gameplay on the PTR, I got a couple games recorded, so we'll put on all kind of all the cool stuff, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy, almost forgot guys, if you do like this video, make sure you send us a comment, and make sure to subscribe, any feedback is great, you know, it helps our channel grow, and you will be one of the four founding members of the family, hopefully you guys enjoy. Orisa is a tank class character, meant to soak up a lot of damage and help defend those teammates, which fits right in line with the hero's origin story. Orisa was an originally an OR-15 bot that was a security omnic for Numbani. Now after being destroyed, Effie Oladale, we all know her from all those airport blah blah blah, took her chassis and made some upgrades of her own. Now Effie turned this omnic into a much stronger one who she named Orisa. That's a pretty cool name, I gotta admit Effie. All right, now, Orisa's primary weapon is a fusion driver. Now, this weapon functions like a projectile-based machine gun, similar to like a Gatling gun, with probably the best range out of any over of Overwatch's tanks. This Gatling gun holds his 200 rounds. And boy, imagine, that's like El Capone back in the day when he had his tummy gun and he put in the drum magazine, ta 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 even more than that. Now, Orisa has a pretty consistent chip damage output, and she can melt other heroes if those headshots are hit. Okay. The fusion driver has an alternative fire mode that is a grenade-like thing, which explodes after a certain distance, or else you can select it to explode by using your alternate fire again. Um, so this thing basically drags enemies into a place that's more easily to fire at. Think of it like a, a pulse that can be reactivated for a mini Graviton surge, almost something like Zarya. Now, additionally, there is a fortify ability, which prevents Orisa from being knocked back or really just anything by any other heroes when activated. This is possibly the strongest ability in the game. It completely negates enemies' abilities that are going to be used against her. These abilities include Reinhardt's Charge, his Hammer Down, Winston's Ult, Zarya's Ult, May's Primary Fire, May's Ult, Ferris Concussion Blast, and even Junkrat's Trap in mind. This ability is insane. Like, it, you can run in anywhere you want, and you're like, yeah, I'm gold, and fuck you. I even forgot about Anna's ult. I mean, not Anna's ult, Anna's Sleep Dart. Like, that even gets you too, man. It's crazy. Next is her Protective Barrier. The barrier's ability is similar to Reinhardt's shield or Winston's bubble, but with the added twist that Orisa can place the enemy shield away from herself to shield her allies. Or she can put it in front of herself if she, you know, she wants to snake out her team, you know? She's like running that with the Widow combo, and she's like, yo, I want my Widow safe, I'm gonna shoot it up here, Pff, fuck you guys. But let's hope that doesn't happen too much. But anyways, she sends out a barrier similar to like a hemisphere almost. It's about half the size of Winston's bubble. And it has 900 hit points of health, which is pretty good. It's almost half of Reinhardt's, but not quite. This barrier is shot out of her wrist, and it does have a pretty good distance, too, if you aim the arc. Now, her final ability is the Supercharger. That's her ultimate. So, this is like the boombox device on her back. You know, she's actually not playing tunes. <laughs> well, she could be playing tunes. Who knows what happens in New Bonnie? That's a pretty cool city. Um, but it's a boombox like device on her back that Arisa can place, and it actually uh, gives you a damage boost for all the allies within line of sight. So, think of like Lucio's Drop the Beat, except it's a stationary object that increases the damage instead of giving you that glory speed boost um the only downside to this is that players will need to project uh protect the supercharger once it's placed since it actually can be destroyed what is up fam it's bisquicks here we are about to start a game of eichenwald attack we are playing Orisa. Finally got her name down. Been saying her name wrong all day, but um, today I think, I'm, well, right now at least I'm gonna have it fine. <laughs> um, she's a new tank hero. Uh, you already seen earlier in the video uh, what she does. This is just gonna kind of be a little bit of a gameplay for you. So 
Let's check her out. People already have the skins. I played with a guy earlier who had the fucking gold gun already for her. Uh, I've been playing quite a bit of her right now. Just because, well, I've been trying to record and for one, the audio keeps fucking up. So, whatever, you know. <laughs> I got this J right here. I'm gonna spark it up, start up this game. Let you guys know my thoughts on Orisa. Thank you. Because she is one fine ass centaur. I didn't even ever see somebody with a booty like that. I'll tell you that. Uh oh. Starting the game. Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Get out of the gates and people are already guns blazing. Let's shoot this. Oh, 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 oh. Got trapped. Of course, you're gonna have a junk rat. Oh. I got sniped, man. I got sniped. So, Orisa is a pretty dangerous character, I have to say. Um, one sec. I must rejoin the team. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're good. Um, yeah, she's a pretty dangerous character. She's got a uh, projectile Gatling gun. The projectile Gatling gun definitely is pretty sick, you know. I thought that if they were to bring out a character with a Gatling gun, definitely that it would be a hit scan. Um, but with the projectiles, it's it's pretty cool, you know. It, it can add some level of difficulty. Like, it's not necessarily the hardest gun to use. But then at the same time, like, it's not going to be the easiest, especially when you're going for long range. But the nice thing about her is her Gatling gun can do a pretty insane amount of damage. Like, um... If you get all crits on somebody, like, you can just melt enemies. It's pretty crazy. I'm not sure how it ranges in terms of soldiers. It feels pretty similar. Um, no, no. Fucking junk rot. Fucking junk rot. But yeah, it's, I don't know how it is comparable to soldiers. I know she does do a lot of damage just from what I've been playing. Um... Now, when it comes to her other abilities, I do like her projected barrier, you know, it's kind of like you got a Reinhardt, um, but a portable Reinhardt, you know, like, uh, well, that's what I really like about her over Reinhardt, like, she can do a uh, similar thing to Reinhardt, like, Reinhardt can move his shield afterwards, which is nice, but he can, but she can just project the shield right in front of you guys, and everybody can just stay behind, do some damage, you know. And I think that's a really, really cool element of her, you know? Like, she is going to be picked sometimes over, well, a lot of times over Reinhardt because of her damage, you know? Like, she doesn't have the burst damage that Reinhardt does. Like, Reinhardt, in the end of the day, all he needs to do is just straight up, oh, so much damage. All Reinhardt needs to do in the end of the day is just charge you, and you're basically dead. For a lot of characters, you know? But, um... Oh, or Orisa? Yeah. Orisa has a fucking crazy range and crazy damage output, you know? And it's a consistent damage output, unlike Reinhardt. Reinhardt's damage output is not consistent, you know? He can't always be firing damage into people because he either has to be up close or he's got to use his um, fire strike. And his fire strike honestly takes a pretty long time to get. It's pretty easily avoidable. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get the Symmetra. We got this, fam. Um, and her right click is pretty cool, too. This little uh, grenade. I was thinking, like... She could save people like how Zarya saves people. With this little grab in her pocket, if she wanted to, all she had to do was fucking... Um, if a Roadhog was hooking somebody, or any character was about to do a serious amount of damage, she can just grab him out of the way, and then they're immobile for however long, right? Like, they can't they can't do anything about that. And that can even be used to construct team kills. Like, with a tracer, you have a really good tracer always consistently getting pulse bombs. And you line that up, like, right now. Boom. I just linked how many guys? Four guys there? Five guys there? Oh, my God. If only we had a tracer. I'm telling you, this would be an amazing fucking call. It's just so much fun to play, you know? Like... Setting up team kills 24-7 with this little mini grab. Oh, it's going to be crazy. Like, it doesn't hold them as long as grabs, so you, you don't have 
as big of a window. But when you pull off that fucking pulse bomb or Genji Dragon Blade, whatever it is, you know, that first swipe of that Dragon Blade, that fucking pulse bomb is just gonna make you go crazy. You won't even know what to do. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Shoot it up. Too high up. Too high up. Oh, so much damage. So much damage. So much damage. Okay, we'll put it back down. Getting past this checkpoint. Uh, oh, what is this? You got like a little boombox in your back. Boom, boom. Making some beats to defend Noombani. Making some beats for Noombani. Oh, I shouldn't rap. I should not rap. Let's get him. Let's get him. Cease your assistance. Everybody shoot. Oh, let's go. Oh, I'm so ready to eat him. Drop the beat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stop pulling me. Oh, no. The jump crash. Oh, I didn't even think about that. You don't even need a pulse bomb if you pulled off a junk rat. Oh my god. My Lucio could not make it out. I should have just hit. That would have been the smart thing to do. Damn, I like that one. You got like, oh, yo, speed boost me. Oh, Lucio, come on, where's the speed boost? Thanks, bro. What's up, buddy? This is my little buddy, Lucio. We both Numbanians. Oh. Oh. Holy. When they have their alt and they're doing it up, so... Oh my god, so much damage. I wonder what percentage that is. I'd probably say it's around like 30. <laughs> don't hold me on that. I don't know if it's 30. I understand. You are advised to move behind my barrier. My ultimate oh, is ready. There you go. Yeah. Team up Let's get on the side. Oh, yeah. Let's drop the beat. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, we gotta get the Bastion. Oh, yeah. I love the Lucio. I love how much damage. You just, like, melt you. Oh, 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 oh. Don't get me. Oh, yeah. Well, guys, that is Orisa. I gotta say, like I said, she's a fun character. I like her a lot. All right, guys, and that's that. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to let us know in the comments what you liked and what you'd like to see next in the future. Send us some love. Hit us with those subs, because if you love us, we'll always love you. Take care.